All right, Jabronis, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we are at Axpat, uh, the manufacturer here in uh, Kent, Washington. Thank you guys for having us, and uh, we're very excited to be here. Facility is fucking sick. I'm ex very excited to get this uh, tour going. Um, if you don't mind, introduce yourselves, and then uh, tell us what you guys do. Yeah, I'm uh, Kyle Hodge, a product engineer here. Uh, just working, uh, designing and testing metal and composite bats mostly. Sick. <clears throat> Brent Weidenbach, director of product, uh, just work with our engineering teams, uh, designers, and our quality teams. Uh, my name is Grant Douglas, uh, senior composite engineer, primarily dealing with uh, composite bats for us. It's fantastic. I'm with some very smart people. I'm the dumbest one, which is fine. Um, here's uh, learn a lot about these guys and what kind of stuff they do with the Axe Bats. Um, obviously, Axe Bats are very uh, widely used uh, these days, so I'm very excited to get the day going. And um, yeah, facility tour, and then you guys can show us uh, what you guys got going on. So yeah, sure. let's go, let's baby. Uh, today we're going to show you uh, our wood bat line and some of the different handles that we offer to our major league athletes. Wow. Um, we'll start with the axe handle, just kind of talk to that a bit. So the biggest thing with the axe handle is we start with comfort and fit. Right. right? So. When you grab an axe handle, it kind of automatically fits right along with that natural right, line right. in your hand, and it fits your hand more ergonomically, right? But it goes further than that. With the oval nature of the handle, um, that's where we start to get more like barrel control, barrel accuracy, right. and you get a sense of your actual like swing plane. That's the whole idea coming back to like an axe handle of being able to deliver a blade as consistently as possible. Right. That's what we want with it, with our handle to provide you with barrel accuracy. The same thing gotcha. where you can be able to deliver the barrel to where you want to deliver it to. Gotcha. And then the last part of the axe handle is our flush back side. So having that flush back side, you're no longer having like the round knob where it's right. protruding, protruding back into your palm. Right. We've all heard of like handmade bone injuries, yes. Yes. restrictions, that kind of cut off feel in your swing. Right. That's what we're trying to do with the axe handle is create those three different elements for the hitter. And with that, uh, we have our standard axe handle, which is what 99% of swingers or players out there are using. Right. But we have a lot of different options that we've created over the years that both major league athletes use and people beyond major league athletes. So um, really, you know, taking a step back further than that, it was kind of like when everything started with wood bats, it was mm -hmm. like you had a lathe and you can make like a round shape. Right, right, right. right. That's it. Right. And so what we kind of wanted to do is just kind of like blue sky, Hey, if we had, now we have six axis CNC mills, we can create pretty much any shape we want. What would that shape be? Right, right. So we started with the standard axe handle and since then we've gone to even like some more, even more free designs where people can really get like a lot of width. Standard axe handle yep. looks like that. Right. And then our power axe handle, you'll notice it's similar, but it's got yeah, it's even a, more of a right, back side. Right. So if you kind of feel that, You'll notice you just kind of have like yeah. a mess there, right? And it's able to really create a, a lot of whip, like the whip right? at the end, especially, right? You guys are like, hey, I like to hang on, or I like to hang off, right? And off. Right. This is allowing them to do that, right? Without having to drop a finger or anything. That's sick. Do players still do it with axe handles for sure? And right. People are trying to get like a longer lever. Right. We're all for it. Like right. you can do that with an axe handle. But what we found is that between these two handles. You can either go with like our speed and control handle, mm -hmm. or you can go with our freedom and whip handle. And that's kind of like our power handle yes. and our standard handle. It's like basically like when you play MLB The Show, power swing, you know? This, this is a power swing exactly. bat, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's tight. It's actually really comfortable too. Yeah. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Yep. And I feel like I have a very good control of the bat as well. The basis of it is the asymmetry of our handle, right? Right. We're sticking out in that front where you're getting that nice hook to be able to get a lot of leverage on right. the bat but then we're not sticking out in that back area where you're kind of impeding the swing. Or right. Causing. To go a little further with it, and we won't go too much in depth with this, but because of various major league athletes, you got some big hands out there. Yeah, some different right. types of players. Right. So like this is a handle that we call Bigfoot. Okay, Bigfoot. So rather than having like a filled in oh, wedge, shit. it's got like a thicker yeah, man. handle, handle, yes. but the same ax handle concept. Right, right. And then, wow. so that was created for Stanton. Stanton? That's yep. Tight. And then this handle here is Bigfoot, but power, right? So it's got right, the, the round, rounded back. Right, right, this right. This is the handle that Chris Bryant has won. Sick. Yeah. Chris Bryant, Mike Stanton, if you're watching this on a face you motherfuckers in Live ABs, uh, face me. With the wood bats, we're putting a lot of R&D into our handle shape and right. how it fits the player's hands. Mm -hmm. With our metal and composite bats, you know, 
the sky's the limit. And one yeah. of the most exciting things about axe bats is you only hold them one way. Yep. So our bats are built kind of like a golf driver, right? So they have, have a face to hit. Exactly. That's sick. Exactly. We have like a, an engineered hitting zone. So this is our fast pitch uh, composite bats designed as okay. well as we have a slow pitch bat. Okay. Uh, Gap performance. So a lot of companies out there have a double barrel technology. Oh, really? Um, ours is unique. Is that's cool. It's anchored on the non hitting face. Right. So what it means is that gap that's created is the maximum performance because we know where you're going to hit. Right, that. right, because everyone's going to hold it right. like that. So each company has their different method in producing this. Right. We anchors our, our spine, therefore allowing the maximum performance on the hitting face. Gotcha. And allows us to have a very durable, perform, high performing bat. That's fantastic. So next thing we can do, we can kind of show you around some of the lab equipment. That'd be awesome. Get a feel for like how we test bats. For sure, and then for sure. Out to the kitchen. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, so first thing up over here is like our MOI and balance point. So basically okay. you hear about that a little bit more. I'm sure you've heard about it in golf, mm -hmm. not like the MOI of your driver. Yes. And that sort of thing. You're hearing it more in baseball now. So it's really important for players to kind of have an MOI that matches their swing. The softball bat here right okay. now, and you can see this is actually just kind of a live view of the laser. So that's going to measure uh, the period of the bat. Wow. So we'll measure it for 14 cycles here. Um, so MOI is really important, especially for slow pitch. So this is an end, you know, it's, a, it's our 28 ounce end load. So it'll have like a... 600 point MOI increase in comparison to the balanced version. 9,479 would be the MOI for, for 28 here. So that's not somebody that's looking for like a really heavy like yeah. power hitter. Or yeah. That's, yeah. That that's me. <laughs> this is kind of our bread and butter for performance testing over here. So okay. it's our cannon, it's our performance cannon. And plug your ears. Oh! oh! That was sick! <laughs> Oh! Our, uh, our inbound speed, outbound speed, um, BB core value, everything. Wow. So we'll do about you know 40 or so shots for every test and figure out kind of that BB core value along the That's along incredible. The that was gas. That was sick. Hey, uh, was throw that? gas, kids. All right. That was, uh, Whatever the machine's doing. 136.1 miles sick. That's incredible. So that's kind of the bread and butter of the lab here. We can, uh, cool. we can get, get out there. Get it. It. Should we hit, it? hit up the cage? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Awesome. If you can see the difference here, um, this is a regular, it's like a regular, like an angled, and this is a little more round. This is for the power guys, and we'll see what the difference is. Honestly, even right now, I can feel it. I think I like the power one better, just for my feel of it or whatever. Oh, yes. Yeah, I can already feel like, I like this one better. Bats are freaking awesome. This is different because, you know, with wood bat, I haven't really swung a wood bat, axe bat. It's actually incredible. I like this. All right, what else we got? Fun sticks. Fun sticks, let's go. All right, let's have some fun. Oh! oh! Let's go! All right, 110, baby. Oh! Oh, I'm going to do this all day. Ooh. 113. Oh 113, baby! The broken back bucket! Let's go. 13. What? Is there a facility record or anything? <laughs> I'm swinging hard though, boys. <laughs> you boys got bad speed. Oof. Jeez. Oof. 110. Oppo taco. Oppo taco. Let's go, baby. Dude, he's got a nice swing. What, did you play before? Uh, yeah, Little League. Cedar Mill Little League. Let's go, baby. Little League legend. Oh, did you? Did you? Let's go. Second deck. Damn. Oh, dude. This guy rakes. Oh! Taking the best round of his life. You guys are the best. You guys are the best players. That's that's really played. Oh, dude! Oh my god! Did you play in college or anything like that, Brent? Baseball? D three? So we have a D three guy, um, Little League, right? And this guy never even played baseball because they're dropping tanks because they just basically just swing hard. That's their job <laughs> for for bat testing. These guys are dropping nukes, it's insane. I love that you guys just get to take hacks. Doesn't matter, you don't have a heading coach. He's like, fuck it, let's just send it. Oh! 
Oh, 102! Oh my goodness! This is ridiculous! Oh, I love this place. I love this place. Just give me a job here. Yeah, you guys got a job opening here? <laughs> new, <laughs> new bed tester. Let's go, baby. Alrighty, jabronis. That's it for today. Um, again, thank you guys for inviting us over. Uh, what would you guys think about the experience? Uh, what did you guys think about me swinging and just whatever? I mean, thanks. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Honestly, it was an unbelievable experience, and it was really cool to like watch you guys hit. Obviously, you're, you play D3, but you never really play baseball, right? No. And the, you guys are dropping fucking like tanks, like over 95 exit below. It's actually incredible. Anyways, um, it's an incredible experience, and thank you guys so much for having us in. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. If you haven't, like, subscribe, and fuck you guys. Later. <laughs>